All right, guys, I'm back. I had to actually uh, step away from the computer for a little bit there. Um, and looks like you're full again, which is great. And your pipe's on the wrong side again, too, which is not so great. Eh, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> the other combine's probably finished, or at least as finished as it can be. So we'll go check on that next. And this trailer is also almost full. There we go. Yeah, he's he is missing a few little pieces on the headland, so we'll go by and pick that up later at the end. Since uh, this is close by, let's empty this one out first. And then we'll check on the other combine. Forty two percent transported for field ten. you back down here somewhere around the middle and let's check on the other combine okay you are you've done as much as you can either that or you're full I think you're yeah he's done because he doesn't have the pipe out or the beacons on Actually, he did a lot better job on this field than I was expecting him to. Okay, let's uh, finish this up. We'll just do it ourselves here. Alrighty, that takes care of that. Now, uh, let's take a look at the map here. I think that finishes all the small fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this combine over to field 32. But I might not get it started yet. Because I might have my hands full just trying to keep up with the big combine. And I know I could get them both going, but the problem is that if I can't keep up with both of them, then the worker in the other combine just sits there and charges me doing nothing. So I want to just wait and see if I can actually keep up with both of them. So I'll get this driven over to 32 and then get caught back up on field 10 and then go from there. Okay, so our combine's full again, but so is this uh, trailer. So I've got the other one on its way over here. So let's take this one up to Johnson's and dump it. 65% transported for field 10. We're getting there. He drives right over the crops. <laughs> He's as bad as me. Okay, so now we have both of these trailers supporting the combine on this field. And this one still has a little bit more to go. What I might actually do is just follow the combine on after it turns around to finish filling this one up. I 
I'll let him get turned around there. Okay, meanwhile, you're parked there, so you can just stay there for now. You are good where you are. And so we're back to you now. Let's get uh, this straw bailed up quickly. After this, I'm going to take this um, tractor back to the farm and drop off the V-rake. And then we'll stage it over at 32, and we're gonna, I'm going to try follow me while I'm in the combine to see how well it does. All right, I'm just going to drive this back to the farm myself because if I have the worker do it, he's going to spit out the bales and they got to run all the way over here to pick them up. Uh, farm's not too far away. Okay, let's just stage uh, right here for that. And you are pretty much done here. So I'm going to finish up the rest of the stuff that was missed and then drive the combine over to field 32. And when we get over there, we'll get follow me set up with the baler and then go from there. Eighty-eight percent transporter for field ten. Thirteen percent transporter for thirty-two. Didn't register for field ten that time, I guess, or it did. And let's see what it says. Uh, yeah, 10's completed. Okay. We're not going to trim them in, though, of course, until we get the straw done. And I'm going to try not to close out of the game until that happens either, because usually when I do it, I lose the straw, especially if I haven't bailed it yet. We have just a little bit left to get in the combine here. And then we will move over to field 32. Okay, let's have this guy just go stage back over at uh, Johnson's. Once I get set up on 32, I'll probably set those guys on looping too. But there's just too much back and forth doing too many things at once to manage that. Because if you don't keep them moving all the time, again, they sit there and charge you not doing anything. Looks like we need to come around this side. Okay, let's see if this guy can manage to get over to 32 on his own. I doubt he will or she will be able to, but can always try. So set destination, and I want you to... Here, let's just keep things simple on you. Just go to here and stage. Can you handle that, dude? Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, let's get the rest of this grain dumped. This is the final load from field 10.
Okay, 19% for 32. Not sure why he's going that way, but we better take over for him. He's just going to mess things up, I think. All right, so you stage yourself right next to the other three there. And I'll grab the combine. Okay, let's drop the header trailer off here. Well, maybe I should have pulled that forward a little more. Hopefully we can get this. And yeah, we got it. Oh, well, <laughs> almost. This thing is so big, man. Okay, let's hop out and get that hooked up. Okay, so unfold. Let's get in the field just a little ways here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is get you set up. start the baler first I now do it all right let's see how this works there she goes So obviously she's going to miss those big piles, but, um, you know, for the normal sized windrows, so that'll work pretty good. Okay. So we'll save, save a lot of time and work. Now, if I just set you on the worker, she'll still follow. Um, the, I'm not sure what they're going to do when they get to the to the end of the field, though. Weird stuff might happen. But while we're waiting, let's get um, these guys ready to to receive grain. I'm actually just curious to see what they do here. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely manage the combine for this. So here, let's stop. I kind of figured something like that was going to happen. Let's just turn all that off until I get the other trailer set up here. Uh, no, not you. Where's the other one at? 
right here. And then, like I said, if we put these guys on looping, at least for a little while, they should be able to manage themselves. But we'll wait till we get them loaded up first. All right, you I probably won't use it all. All right, let's get you. Well, here, I gotta get you turned around first, I suppose. And we should even do the, let's even do the headland too. So this does seem to work pretty good. The only downside to it is I have to manage the combine. I can't really set a worker loose on it. But, I mean, if it saves me, you know, from ha having to bail 90% of this field later on, then it's probably a fair trade-off in terms of just the amount of work that needs to get done. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is maybe turn around and go back this way just because those trees are right there in the way. And that might cause us some problems. I'll get that little little bunch that I left there later on. Plus, going back this way will get us closer to our, our wagons. Okay, so let's stop you and let's pull you out this way. And we can start with this one, doesn't really matter. following? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's resume. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. I can't quite manage my... my wagons, my trailers, as well. Um, you know, because now I'm also trying to manage and maneuver around the baler. But, here again, it's going to save me a long time later on from not having to bail the whole field, so... And it's just interesting how it's all working. I think what we'll do when we get down to the end there is we'll then do a, a headland along the other side of the field. Okay, I'm going to quickly put a worker on here for just a minute and go into here and have you come back and stage yourself right about here. Okay. So it's working out pretty good overall. Just, you know, just got to figure out the best way to coordinate everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drive this way. Flip around. Just got to get around the back end of this guy. Okay. You 
He missed that little bit on the end, but that's okay. Not a big deal. There's actually plenty of room to turn around down here, so this is the only headland I think we need to do on this end of the field. We don't e didn't even probably need to do this one, but we're doing it. Okay, let's keep driving straight this way a little further so the baler goes all the way to the end. And then we'll flip it around. There we go. I'm going to just go back this way to get me myself closer to the trailers. out there and stop you for a minute and I want yeah I want you first because you're almost full okay so now what we're gonna do is let's get you a little further over this way and we're going to tell you to we're going to do a create job and we're going to have you do a deliver and i want your staging position when you're done to be right about here we'll say start job you good Don't. Why do you have to drive right back to the combine, you idiot? <laughs> okay, I guess it's working. For Pete's sake. Can't get good help these days, man. Alright. Let's get this one started here. Okay, so I want you just to stage yourself back over here somewhere. And then just sit tight. All right. Now we're ready to get back to, to this part. Okay, here we go.
All right, guys, we are getting close here to finishing the the contract, and so I'm going to set the, this back to the green door. It might finish with this dump, if or it's going to be really close, and I, I want to catch every last bit of green for ourselves that we can, so let's see what happens here. We got maybe two more passes with the combine on the field. I just have it kind of sitting there at the moment. Nope, it took the whole thing. 99%. Look at that. <laughs> so close. All right. Well, let's go uh, get her finished. All right, guys. Um, I don't remember exactly where I left off last with the recording because I screwed up and thought I was recording when I wasn't. <laughs> so um, let me see. We finished the field. Uh, we finished harvesting the field. And all the baling is done on field 32 and ready to be picked up. Uh, so I just refueled the fence and sent it and the baler back up to 10 because we got to bale all of 10. And I just finished dropping off the grain. So all the contracts are now complete. But, of course, we're not going to turn them in until we get the bales off the field. So we have 10,389 liters in this trailer, which is all ours. Uh, the bulk of which will go to the chickens. And then we also have another partial trailer left over from field 32, uh, which we will put in the grain mill along with whatever is left here. And then I still have the combine on 32. Oh, I guess we have to bale that field too. Yeah, okay. So we still have more baling in to do for sure. Um, and yeah, we're done with the combine. We just got, we just got to get it cleaned up, fueled up, put back away. Um, so that's finished. And then, yeah, it'll just be really us uh, finishing up all the baling which is still going to take some time to do but i have to say you know using follow me on field 32 worked out really well overall and um, in the future especially for big fields i'll probably start doing it that way um, the only you know again kind of downside to that is i have to pretty much man the combine the whole time uh, so it makes you know running the loads and stuff back and forth to the drop off a little more tedious but it's it's certainly still doable it's not not uh really that bad it's just yeah you're just kind of trading you know one babysitting job for another one essentially is what it really boils down to okay so these chickens will probably take um most of this the tree is kind of a nuisance but i'm not planning on keeping the chicken coop here the whole time Okay, so that leaves us with over 3,000 liters still, and our chickens are now full on food, which is amazing. They have also a bunch of eggs we need to get picked up, too. So let's go take this over to the grain mill, and uh, hopefully this will keep us in, in the flour for a couple of months. And remember, we still have wheat, uh, oats, and sorghum contracts that we could take as well um, just to keep our grain topped off now again it's not my intention to continue relying on contracts for this we are going to get our own fields and supply our own grain and all of that in the very near future hopefully very soon uh, but this is this is really the smartest thing for me to do right now is the way we're doing it so Wah. Okay, we need to wash this tractor. Um, actually, am I done with, yeah, I, th I am done with this tractor because we're gonna be using the big flatbed to pick up the bales. And uh, that requires the man truck, pretty much. That's the only thing I have that'll operate that flatbed. So let's clean this up. We gotta refuel the John Deere too. And we'll get this trailer cleaned up because we're finished with it. That looks pretty good. Actually, here, let's just go put a little bit of gas in this now. It's not going to take that much. Yeah, the dualies. We're kind of a pain on this tractor as far as 
the AI being able to maneuver um, didn't work too well. Something to keep in mind if you're going to use a tractor with the AI. I wouldn't put dualies on it. Okay, that cost us 105 bucks. I did refuel. I think I told you this. I refueled the Fent earlier, and that cost over $800. But I think that's the first time I've actually refueled it since we bought it. Okay, so we are done with you. Let's go. Yeah, we got to get that combine back too. All right, we have another 6,500 liters of grain sitting in this trailer, which is all going to go right into our mill. So let's go dump that. Let's make sure you are also on the full dump door. Oh, I guess we have to go around this way. Okay, so that gets us in the mill up to 12,696 liters, which still, which still isn't very much compared to how much the thing can hold. But again, that'll... That'll get our flower production uh, back going again. Uh, we need to get some wool dropped off here, but I'm not too worried about it because the clothing has uh, a nice little surplus of fabric. So we'll worry about that later. That's part of part of the chores we have to take care of. So we are finished with this trailer. We'll take it back, uh, get it washed and staged and ready to return. And then we'll do the combine next. And then after that... Uh, I just I'll just have all that straw baling to finish up. So let's see if we have twelve thousand liters in there ish, and we dumped about six thousand in the chickens. So yeah, we we basically got about eighteen thousand liters of grain from those con all those contracts together. So not too bad. And and then you know we're we're gonna get quite a bit more money than that out of all of the straw and then of course we get the actual you know payment on top of all of that so not a bad deal man I think this was definitely the better move for us than buying field 10 it just didn't seem like that was the smart move this time around I wouldn't mind owning Field 10 someday, but it's not my first choice. And it would have just cost us a lot of money and a lot of interest to get everything done we needed to do. Here, I'll take care of you later. Let's get the big combine taken care of. You can stay there and, well, here, let's get you out of the road. Okay. Wait, did I just start that again? There we go. Okay, let's get this guy taken care of. We did a pretty good job of cleaning this field up. There might, there's a couple of maybe little spots here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. All right, that was glitchy. Okay, let's take the combine over, get some fuel in it, clean it up, and then it'll be ready to turn in as well. What a nice machine, man. I know I, I said that already a couple hundred times, <laughs> but I really, I really like this combine. I have to say, this is probably my favorite combine that I've, that I've used so far in this game. It just really rocks. It's fast, it's maneuverable, it's got high capacity, it's got the largest header that that's probably the largest header in the base game I'm thinking well I, I guess I don't know that for sure but I wouldn't be surprised if it is we'll put it that way and uh, it's just a super nice machine 
and cost us $535 to fuel. But it's good. We used it for several other fields besides the field we were supposed to use it on. <laughs> Okay, let's get it cleaned up. It's dirty, man. It did work. All right, everybody's washed and refueled and ready to turn back in when the time comes. That time is not now. Uh, all right, let me get this uh, guy back to the ranch. Uh, I should probably refuel, top the fuel off in this guy too. And then I'm going to go bail uh, all the rest of the straw in the remaining fields that need it. And then pick the bales up. And when I'm finished with that... Bring you guys back right towards the tail end of that, and we'll take a look at the bale count and see how many straw bales we got out of this whole deal. So, I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, we finally finished all of the baling. That probably took me, I don't know, about an hour, maybe a little over an hour in real life to, uh, or in real time I should say, uh, to get all the baling finished. So now we're going to go around and pick them up. And once that's done, then we'll be finally be done with all these harvesting contracts for June. Now, I uh, fully expect once we turn these in that um, some, if not all, of these fields will then come up once again for cultivating. So we'll be able to make even more money off these fields, which will be great. So, yeah, I just have to go around now and pick up all the bales. And when I'm finished doing that... I'll bring you guys back and we'll do a count of how many bales in total we got for the straw and then we'll turn in the contracts and get the money. So I'll see you uh, when we're ready to do that. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, apparently, when you do straw bales on contracts, it doesn't count in the thing at all because I thought maybe all we had to do was uh, just pick them up, but it still shows that I've produced no bales uh, during this session. Uh, so instead, what we'll do is I'll just show you how many loads we get. So each full load of straw bales is 33 bales and 297,000 uh, liters. So this is our first load. This is our second load and the last load for the fields up north. We still have the big field of 32 and then several of the little ones down south that we originally started with. And we have load number three here, so we're up to 99 bales so far. Well, actually, 103 because we put four in earlier inside the shed here. And I believe we'll have at least one more full load. All right, looks like we're going to get all of the rest of these in this final load here. And one more to go. Okay, so let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, 8, uh, 24, 25. So we have 25 more bales. So that's 124, 129. So a total of 129 bales that we got off of these barley contracts. So not bad, not bad. It doesn't uh, uh, completely fill up our straw shed, but it sure uh, 
gets it closer, and again, you know, we got wheat, oats, uh, wheat and oats anyways, for, as far as straw goes, contracts that we could potentially do, if they're big enough and worth my time. And then we might possibly do sorghum too if we have a big field. Um, we won't get any straw out of that, but we'll still get the grain for the flour. Okay, so let's drop these off here. There we go. Okay, so now we have in our straw shed uh, 1.3 million liters of straw. So yeah, it still, still has a ways to go, but not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's do a couple things here. Uh, we did three, basically three loads, not three full loads, but we're just going to save three full loads for the sake of paying our workers. Um, so that means they get uh, 300 bucks because we're paying 50 bucks a load, and there's two of them. Let's just take that out right now so we don't forget. And then if we go to our contracts, we should be able to hand all of this in. So let's see, we're currently at 166. And we are now at 188. Very nice. Um, now, if we go back into here, uh, there we go. So these fields are going to start popping back up as cultivating. Probably every single one of them, it looks like. Yep, very nice. So this is another, I mean, there's 9,000, there's 8,000, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, another, I don't know, 14, dollars $15,000 in cultivating for us right there too, which we will get done Whew, I gotta tell you though man that took me a long time in real life uh, or in real time just to do that much and we are not even close to being done on for June 1st <laughs> you see my you might notice I have the time set to one half normal speed just because we got so much to do and I want to make sure we can get it all done in this day but um, I have absolutely no inkling where we are in terms of the time for the episode so I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and wrap this one up here and then again we'll probably just pick up more or less where we left off in the next episode the the next big task uh, for us to do is to do our own hay um, I'll probably do all the cultivating off camera just you know because it's just cultivating so at some point I'll get that done but I want to get our own hay done and we're gonna also put in a, a silage bunker and try some bunker silage out so that is what's coming up in the next episode. And we still have a bunch of chores to do, too, as well. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we will catch you in the very next episode. Did that undo? How come that's not disconnecting? I don't know. Who knows why these... There they go. Okay. There it goes. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.